Welcome to JD in the Sump Sea. I'm D, um, and we are here doing our first request for the channel that I know of. Um, I had a request after I uh, painted those bikes up if I could do a build video. Um, a nice young man asked me on uh, Necromunda um, Vehicles. Uh, Facebook page and well here you go I wasn't gonna make any more but since you asked um, yeah basically this is gonna be kind of what I said on the Facebook post um, you can see me <laughs> gluing my fingers together a lot here um, so yeah we got Orc Spruce this is from the Speed Freaks uh, game from several years ago um, yeah I bought a lot of copies of that um, and yeah the first step here we're just gonna put the bikes together um, as you can take a look and see here I, uh, I do a lot of carving as far as getting the orc lips off uh, the other trick is the old baking soda trick with super glue um, that covers up you know, a lot of the orc problem or orc problems. It's not a problem. Um, I'm just not playing orcs. Um, yeah, you know, getting the orc icon icon grab <laughs> icons off. <laughs> you know, that helps because most Goliaths aren't orcs. So here we go. This is going to be a real easy build. This is a pair of juves. Um, they're gonna have malls and they're gonna have smoke grenades uh, Mainly because those were the quick arms that I could find uh, and on the orc sprue kit uh, for the biker at least the orc bikers um, They actually have a mall and a mall is something you can take in the Goliath list um, and throwing them on guys on bikes you know, it sounded real basic to me right away, but I think that might be a good, a good thing. Um, you know, malls are damaged to granite plus one to the armor penetration. So, you know, maybe walking up and <laughs> banging on a, a ridge hauler or something may be, you know, a little futile. You know, unless it gets through. You know, if it gets through, it's too damaged. It's it's pretty good um, but uh, you know this encompasses itself because of course you know the Goliaths are going to be moving seven uh, for their movement rate uh, if memory serves granted I don't have any of my books here so you know it's hard for me to remember sometimes I try to keep all my books you know at the at the store where we game because I'll get stuck looking up information all this time and you know, I need time to do all this hobbying. So um, anyways, uh, yeah, here's the second biker. Or is this the first? Yeah, this is the first one. Um, I'll let you watch me glue my fingers together a little bit here and uh, I'll come back to you in a little bit. So, yeah, no handlebar grabs again. A um, little disappointing, but I just didn't have enough parts to, uh, to make it work. I used a lot on those other bikers, a um, lot of the good parts. Um, and, you know, the, these guys are not the most difficult build in the world. Um, the secondary one I'm actually using, uh, well, the other thing that's kind of nice on these, a couple of those builds I had to kind of call it quits and use the orc legs, the orc bottoms. So 
um, just to fit in the bike properly. I wanted to try to get around that this time. Um, so, you know, we've got one split-legged one, and then we got one where he's supposed to be running up and down or running forward or something. Um, oh, yes, this was also uh, when I realized that I actually did go buy some super glue activator. Um, <laughs> and the rest of this goes much faster now because uh, I'm not gluing my fingers directly to the bottle. Um, yeah, you know, these things happen. Um, the second build was really nice because I managed to put the, f the uh, it goes from the knee down on the one side and I managed to glue him on, or glue that foot down on the peg and then set the rest down. Um, wow, once again, super glue activator. Woo, man, does that make everything good? Yeah, you know, Goliath heads. Heads on all Necromunda guys. They're kind of a pain. <laughs> so, anyways, by the end here, I had two guys that looked exactly the same. Arms up, no handlebars. And, you know, when you're in this situation, you're kind of going, well, what are we going to do? One, I wanted these to be Juves, um, so I had to denote that. Um, but an old rule, a very, very, very good modeler once told me is that, you know, they're on bases. So if you got boring looking models, uh, make the base exciting. So yeah, we're going to have one guy, you know, wheeling off the rocks. And the other guy we're going to have uh, endoing landing down after the rocks. Uh, we're putting them on... 1993 square bases uh, for Tyranids, metal Tyranids. No, no, not 93, I'd say 96, 97. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, now I know these guys are the Juves. Um, yeah, they're gonna be, you know, expendable bikers, really, expend really expensive ones. Um, yeah, here's the end shot. We're going to have a little spinnies. And uh, that's good advice. You know, they look great. I'm really happy. Um, well, anyways, uh, first annual request for the channel. I, uh, I hope you guys enjoy and have a great night. <laughs>